Hi everybody and welcome back to Angela and Resale Land. My name is Angela and today I wanted to talk about two things if I'm implementing my business that I didn't really do before. I mean I did but not consistently. Planning and consistency. That's the important, that's the recipe for success in your business. Let me just tell you. And that's why I, I wouldn't say I failed because I tried everything and I've been doing okay. But those are the two ingredients that I was not able to mix right. <laughs> so this time around, consistency and planning are going to be my main ingredients for my business. And I've been listening to Chris at Daily Refinement and um, yeah. I mean, I listened to him for a long time, but it's finally sinking in. And part of the reason I think it's important for resellers, if you're going to go full time or you want to try to make a living as much as possible, is to reevaluate why you're a reseller. For me, I didn't choose it. It was not like my dream to be an entrepreneur or to have my own business because it's really hard. I've been on both sides. I've had my own business and I've worked in the workforce. I was a director, I was a teacher. I was an invoicer, I was a, a piano moving scheduler, I've um, been an editor, like all these things. And it's so much easier in truth for me to have a job where I go nine to five and then I leave it all at home, at home. I leave it all at work. And you can't do that when you have your own business. So um, you should really first evaluate why are you doing this? For me, I have a family that has a lot of medical needs and I need to be there <laughs> to go to appointments for people and take them places and um, my son has uh, some health issues so he has a lot of appointments and to do that on a night traditional nine to five job it's just not possible and then add my mom who has some medical issues and she can't drive right at the moment so um, yeah, before that, my dad was on dialysis. He passed away last year. It's almost been a year. It was a year, August 30th. Um, so anyway, I do this because I want to be able to be there and to take and help my family when they need me. And I still need to bring in income. So this is what I've chosen to do. That being said, I still have to pay bills. And um, I have to have a schedule and even a schedule because I know nothing goes according to schedule so I need a schedule for when the schedule doesn't work like there's no excuses and that was me before I always had an excuse like oh you know my son ended up in the hospital or oh my mom ended up in the hospital or um, oh there's another appointment that just popped out of nowhere but for me those aren't like <laughs> um unusual so I realized my issues I needed a schedule for one and I knew my schedule wasn't gonna work if that makes sense like a plan a plan B and sometimes a plan C and D which I did not have I just I was just winging it and trying to make all the pieces fit and uh, while I was <clears throat> taking care of the things I needed to be taken care of like my family the other pieces my finances not so bueno so um, I guess for me, the planning piece there wasn't there and, you know, other people might have emergencies once in a while, but that's not the case in my life. So, but those are normal. They're not emergencies anymore. Um, so I, once I realized that piece and the why of why I was doing it and really I had to figure out to my, my budget, I didn't want to look at my finances and I didn't really want to know what was going on. And I finally did. So I can tell you everything. And I started doing zero budgeting, like the, the money planners, you know, the cash planning or uh, zero budget cash binders kind of thing. I'm doing that. And I now know where every dollar is going. I didn't before, but in truth, I didn't want to. And that's where the planning comes in and really getting real with what's happening in your life. So that's what I did. I spent the summer figuring out my finances, where my gap was and um, learning how to assign a dollar to every, uh, a job to every dollar basically. And 
people have great strengths and weaknesses. My strength was never budgeting, <laughs> but that's going to change. So I am now planning, budgeting, and doing things consistently and transferring that all over to my business. So I'm dangerous. It's like the triple threat. Consistency. Oh, planning. Oh, budgeting. Oh, anyway, I know I'm being weird. Uh, anyway, just to say that that's the recipe for success. And you can, if I can do it, you can do it. I hope to prove that I'm doing it. And my What's Moving Mondays and looking at my monthly goals, my yearly goals, my weekly goals. So we're going to start doing some of that on my channel as well. So if, if that's interesting to you, stay tuned. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when I have a new video. And we can grow our business together. Leave me a comment of something that you think is the main recipe or main ingredients for a great business. And I'd love to talk to you. Okay. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, noon, or night whenever you are watching this. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.